Hi guys, my name is Lori and welcome to The Icing Artist. So today we're gonna be doing a giant cupcake kind of Minnie Mouse thing. So first we're gonna start off making her bow. So I'm just using some pink fondant. Now I've added some Tylus into my fondant just to help it harden up a bit. But you can also use gum paste. I'm just gonna dust my surface using some icing sugar and roll that out nice and thin. Now I'm gonna cut out one long strip. Cut that strip in half. I'm just gonna make sure my two halves are about the same size. Perfect. I'm gonna take one of those halves, fold it in half again, and then starting at the corner, I'm gonna cut down on an angle like this. And once you open it up, you can see kind of the shape we're looking for here. I'm gonna lay that on top of my other piece and just cut out the exact same shape. And these are gonna be for the two halves of our bow. Gonna wet it with some water just on one side and then fold them over. And then stand them up. And I just have a cake board here I've dusted with some icing sugar and I'm just gonna let them dry for a couple days on there. Now I also have a thin strip of fondant that I'm gonna put in the middle and that's gonna join the two pieces together. And I'm gonna cut out some white polka dots to stick onto my bow. I'm just gonna glue those on using some water. Now I'm gonna roll up some paper towel and then just rip that in half and stick both halves into the one side of my bow. And you're just gonna let it dry like this just for a couple days and that's gonna let it hold its shape and keep it nice straight up and down. Now for my Minnie Mouse ears, I'm just gonna roll out some black fondant, very thick. Use a large round circle cutter and cut out two circles. And when it pops out, you'll see it looks just like this. Now I'm just gonna take a wooden skewer and some water and I'm just gonna insert that into my circle. So when you're ready to cut your cake, you're just gonna wanna pull these out because they do have the wooden skewer in them, but that's gonna help them stand up nice and tall. I'm gonna let those dry again for a couple days. Now this is my giant cupcake mold. As you can see, it has kind of the top and bottom of the cupcake. So I've just baked my vanilla cake in there and I just kind of rubbed some butter in there and then dusted it with some flour and that made my cake pop out nice and smooth. I'm using a 1M piping tip and a disposable piping bag. And I'm just gonna use some buttercream icing and stick some on the board. And that's gonna help stick my cake down right to the board. For all of my recipes, you can go to theicingartist.com. I'm just gonna fill it with some buttercream in between the two layers. And then stick the top right on top of there. Make sure it's nice and stuck down. As you can see, that's what, kind of what it looks like when it's assembled. I'm just gonna fill the center using some buttercream. Just kind of fill up that little bit of space there and then smooth that out using my spatula. Now using some pink buttercream and a large round tip, I'm just gonna go straight up and down for the cupcake kind of base. Just like this, nice and smooth lines going all the way up the cupcake. And then again with my spatula, I'm just gonna smooth out the one end into the top just so we can hide that seam. I'm using a piece of paper towel just to tap that down lightly. Now again with my 1M piping tip, I'm just gonna pipe these little rosettes. So you're just making these little, little swirls kind of going all over your cupcake, working all the way up to the top of your cupcake. And one last one right there on top. And if you have any spaces in your cupcake where you can kind of see your cake, you can just do little squeezes of icing in between them. Now that my bow has been drying for a couple days, it is nice and firm. You can see how it's holding its shape quite nicely. So I'm ready to stick that right onto my cake and just kind of position it and push it right in. And then I can stick my two ears right in as well. And for its final touch, I'm gonna to make my cake nice and shimmery. So I'm just using some shimmer dust and just kind of dusting around my cake to make it sparkle. I love how like 
like these classic characters from all these classic movies and everything from Disney are coming back to life again. I mean, I always remember loving Minnie as a, as a child and all these like Disney princesses and stuff and now they're all to life which is really fun because all the kids are loving Minnie Mouse these days. So if you guys would like to see any more Minnie Mouse videos, please leave me a comment below and let me know what you'd like to see and you can see some of the other different designs I've done over here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe because I always have new videos going on and I will see you guys all later.